Hey guys, uh, welcome to your 30 minute core session here bright and early on a Friday morning. I need to double check that. I'm hoping it's Friday, otherwise I may as well edit and remove this part. Um, so hopefully you're ready to get yourself stuck into 30 minutes of intense training on your abdominals and core. Um, all you're gonna need, a little bit of space, and that if you wanna make it a touch more comfortable, and just prepare to work. Now again, it's your workout, so with it being your workout, if there's elements that you're struggling with, do not panic. Take the recovery, shake it out, get a little bit of rotation through the torso to ease the core off, and then jump back in as and when you can. My plan is to do like a 50-50 style workout. So that's 50% of the workout is going to be done on your back, 50% is going to be done on your front. If you struggle with either way, just keep the move that you're currently doing in play. Okay, and then you can always switch it out every other move. Plenty to do to modify and adapt. Um, well, let's get cracking. We're going to get the music playing and hopefully it's to a decent level. Right, here we go then, guys. So, easy sit up. So, nice and easy. We're going to keep our feet on the floor and we're going to use the abdominals to get us up and down. Try not to throw your arms and use momentum. Use muscles, so brace the core nice and tight. Keep your chin tucked to chest and don't put your hands behind you and drag yourself up by the neck. That's not what we want. So it's a nice simple start. You're going to do one minute per move. Ish, see how you get on. And what we'll do is we'll alternate. So every other move, we're going to be rolling. So you've got 15 seconds, prepare to roll over into a plank position. Now you've got your option when it comes to plank as to whether you do it on your knees or your toes. But we're going to take this to normal plank on our elbows. So get ready to roll. In three, two, one, roll and hold. So I'm on my toes and I'm on my elbows. And if you want to, you can drop to your knees. Make sure your foot is in the air. So maintain a nice, solid, Plank position, elbows stacked underneath your shoulders. You've got a nice flat back, so your foot's not sticking in the air, but in the same respect, your hips aren't sticking either. And just brace, breathe through it. Now, every plank element is going to be a meal. At the end of today's session, you'll have done 15 minutes of plank here. But if you need to drop out of the plank at any point, do it, because it is a demanding move. So don't panic. We've got 15 more seconds, then we're going to roll onto our back again. Then this time we're going to do crunches. So instead of sitting up fully, we're going to reach for our toes, and then we're going to crunch part way. You've got three, two, one, roll over. So crunch. Now like I mentioned before, if you struggle with the front work, just keep the sit-up work into play. So whilst we're doing plank, you may want to continue with the sit-up movement. Or, if you struggle with the sit-up work, and you'd rather be planking, we can keep the plank in play. You decide. You've got 30 more seconds of crunching. Now with this one, again, my chin's tucked into chest, I'm keeping my shoulders off the floor, and I'm crunching. So I'm trying to push my ribs down towards my hips and I'm feeling right in the centre and the top and the lower core so all down the centre of that core nice job guys you've got 10 seconds then we're going to roll into a high plank position so a high plank we're going to be on our palms or our hands roll it so palms and again you choose whether you're on your knees or your toes now once again Shoulders are directly over the top of the wrists. My feet are a touch wider, not too wide, but a touch wider, and I'm bracing that core. So, real nice focus on tensing it. Breathe through it. How's that feeling? Again, your option is drop down to your knees at any given point or drop out of it, give it a shake out, jump back in as and when you can. You've got 25 seconds. So we're going to do the at the end. The next round, we're going to go into sit-ups and we're going to twist at the top. So we're going to start to play, bring the obedience into your training. 
10 seconds. Good, so breathe through it. If your core is screaming at you, awesome. Well, you've got to hang on in there. So flip over, nice big sit up, twist at the top, back to centre, lie down. Sit up, twist the opposite way, back to centre and lie down. So this time what I'm doing to keep my fingertips on my temple, get a big twist through the torso, but I'm not using it to twist my head or my neck, okay? So just there. Just style. <laughs> I have got one there, it's not just for style, but it's style it out whenever you like. So you've got 25 seconds, and then we're going to start to work with the side plank. Can you feel it starting to kick? Those are weeks. If you can't, just try and rotate a little bit more. Look in the direction you're twisting. So if you look in the direction you're twisting, shoulders will follow. And if your shoulders follow, you've got more movement. Right, side plank position. Options. Stack your feet, split the feet, drop the bottom knee, whatever you need to do. But again, keep that elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Try and keep that alignment. So don't let your hips drop. Keep a nice straight line. Breathe. The hands can go wherever you like. Okay, again, whatever you need to do. This is what I'm trying to open up. Yeah, we've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Then we're going to go into another sit-up movement, which brings the obliques in, before we do our opposite side. 20 seconds. Feeling all right? Or are you screaming at me? This is a great class for you to start typing away, leaving your feedback, guys. <laughs> You've got five seconds. Get ready to sit and do penguins. So, three, two, one. Sit up position, but this time just with your shoulders off the ground. And all I'm doing is I'm reaching through my fingertips down towards my toes, getting that rotation through the body. Again, hitting the same muscle group or the bands, the obliques that you did in your last couple of moves. How's that feeling? You're really starting to feel it. The more twist you can get through your body, the more length you can get into those arms, reaching through the toes, the more you're going to really get that nice little shape coming down the body. We've got 20 seconds, and we've got the opposite side for the side plank. Remember, try and keep those shoulders off the ground if you can. I know you're getting tired. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Side plank, opposite side. So again, you choose. I've really messed up here because I can't see the clock. <laughs> so, I've got that so, this is probably the style of training where it's hard enough for you to lose track of time. But when you're doing isolation of a particular muscle group, it's even worse when someone says, What? Oh, what time have we got left? <laughs> You've got 30 seconds, guys. You've got 30 seconds. My body's screaming at me the same. Oh. Come on, you've got it. Fight through it again. You get that and those hips dipping and they up in the air. You get a nice straight line from head to toe. It's a diagonal. I'd love to tell you what angle it is, but I'm not too good at that. <laughs> You've got 10 seconds. Then we're going to go back onto our back and we're going to do some sequence touchdowns. Five, four, three, two, flip it. So sequence touchdown. What that means is you're lifting your knees and you're lifting your elbows and chest try and meet in the middle. Get a nice big crunch. Big crunch. Again, another movement. Let's bring everything together. The hands are not pulling on my head. So we're not using our hands to help lift, otherwise you're pulling your neck. I don't want to be doing that. So we crunch 90 degrees on the leg on that crunch position and out from there. 20 seconds and then we're going to salute. You have a plan salute I do. Come on team. 
Breathing. Point through it. Three, two, one. Wide plank position. So I'm going to face you for this one. Feet go wide at the back, hands underneath shoulders. And all you're doing is you're going from four points of contact on the floor to three. Now that creates a massive instability. And what will probably happen is your hips will twist in all sorts of different directions. So the key is to go slow and get that stability in check. We don't want that twist to the body. So brace tight and make sure you've taken your feet wide so you've got a better, more of a tripod situation and you're less likely to roll over. 20 seconds. You may get a flip onto our back again. Another plank salute. <laughs> what kind of salute are you doing, guys? Are you thinking military or are you thinking something else? <laughs> Five seconds. We're going to flip and then we're going to do a sit up with our hands overhead. So, sit up position. Reach up, back down. Control the movement. Got it. Come on, you got it. Give me your love. Nice big reach to the fingertips and right overhead. Get a big extension at the top. And again, don't use momentum, use muscle. So I'm not throwing my hands up to bring me out of that sit up. I'm reaching nice and tall when I get up in that sit up. Getting a nice long length out of the abdominals. 20 seconds. And then you go back into another plank. And you know what the good news is? You've done 11 minutes after this. Downhill from here. Now we're the next kind of plank. You're going to go high plank again. So roll it. Feet wide. And this time what you're going to do is just lift and lower and then switch. Lift and lower. Option on your knees, lift and get pause and lower. Feel like a little bit of a cat, don't you? Kneading the floor. Lift and lower. So we're spending more time in that tripod position. That massive instability. Legs may be starting to shake. That's a good sign. Don't bottle it just yet. 30 seconds. Are you pleading for mercy or more? All right. Ten seconds. What we're going to do after this, we're going to hit sit up position again. This time we're going to work with tempos. Can you feel that? Right, are you ready? We're going to flip. Slow sit up. So slow sit up. This now you want fatiguing right in this core is going to be harder to do. You're going to want to use your arms to throw them to get that momentum. Don't do it. Come on, we're on that straight. Now if you're struggling to sit up fully, don't worry. Just get whatever range you can out of the sit up because you're still working. And if you're absolutely swearing your head off at me, you know it's working. That slow tempo. 20 seconds, and then we're going to go into a side crunch extension. Remember, you've got the ability to modify any of these or take some as recoveries because we're doing 30 minutes of solid training. That is a lot, especially when we're isolating one muscle. Right, hit the side plank position, but this time you're going to sit on your butt. So sit on your butt, we're going to stay slow. And all I'm doing is bringing my knees towards my chest and lifting my chest to bring and meet the knees as well. This is just for balance. So I'm not actually using it to push off the floor to help me up. Now your option is to drop the one knee down and just bring the top leg towards you. 30 seconds to go. Nice. How's that feeling? Can you really feel it kicking in to those abs, yeah? 20 seconds, then we're going to hit the plank position again. I know. But it's going to be a high plank, and we're going to do diagonal mountain climbers. Again, 
I'm going to hit a little bit more of these weeks. So, check it out. Hit the high plank position, hands on the shoulders, and all you're going to do is bring opposite knee to opposite elbow. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Now, we're not moving fast. We're moving controlled. Nice control element. Again, as you fatigue, you may find that you're venturing shoulders further away from your hands. Don't. Remain right over the top of those hands. You'll put less stress into the shoulders. Getting a bit of sweat, I don't know about you are. 30 seconds, and we've got our side crunch on the opposite side. 20 seconds. Ooh, we're starting to right now. Now when we do core training, most people, when they ask when they train my core, it's because they're looking for that six pack. Now in all honesty, you can isolate core as much as you like, change the side seat crunch, but you're not going to get that, that six pack kind of finish unless you diet on point. Now we're training core not just to try and get that six pack because, you know what, that's just aesthetics. What we're training core for, for functionality. So having a strong core is awesome for every exercise you do. It's great for posture, it's great for balance. So our main objective when we train core, well mine personally, is just to get stronger. So when I may be lifting heavier weights, it can help support my back. When I'm running, it puts me in a better balance. So think of the functional benefits of training core. The aesthetic ones, they're awesome too, but and everyone's got their own unique goal. Whatever your goal is, it's one big package you've got to put together. You can't just focus on one thing. There's a lot of things that need to work together in order to achieve your goal. Right, switch it back into high plank position. This time, slow tap outs. So all I'm doing, Hands under shoulders, butt down, option, down, down, up and up. So you can drop to your knees and raise to your toes. So if you want to, that's an option. If not, high plank, tap out. High plank and tap out. You've got 20 seconds, then we're going to sit down again. We're going to add some triple movements next. Five seconds. Three, two, on your back. Triple crunch. So three, two, one, then touch down. So with the triple crunch, we're burning a little bit more oxygen in that muscle putting more pressure and load into it and it may bite just a little bit more how are we getting on i know i'm asking you a lot but try to distract you guys <laughs> 20 seconds then we flip again this time we're going to go low plank. Ten to go. Now you may have a more preferred plank hold. Me personally, I don't like low plank. <laughs> Change it. Why don't I like low plank? I don't know. Me, it tends to make me work a bit harder. I don't know why, but other people have different preferences. I'd much rather be holding a high plank. So. I've just got to suck you up really, because you lot might prefer this one. So, hold it for another 40 seconds. Enjoy it, savour it. Are you singing along? Should I shut up? 30 seconds for my life. Come on. We're going to go for another pulse 
opposite movement next. We're going to do a sit up and a triple pulse, but only in one direction, and then we'll sit up and triple pulse in the other direction to follow. Three, two, switch. So check it out. Sit up, triple, twist to the one side. Lie down, sit up, triple, twist to the other side. You've got it. Oops. So back to the obliques. We've had a little bit of a battering. Thought we'd include them again, just for lols. <laughs> Anyone laughing? Probably not out loud. Possibly not even in the mind either. Oh, 30 seconds. Come on. Now, I don't know if you lot train for DOMS, so delayed onset muscle soreness. If tomorrow you find it really difficult to roll out of bed, cough, or laugh, or anything it could be because of this it's a gift really isn't it <laughs> who doesn't love to feel absolutely battered right flip over let's go back to low plank low plank but this time knee to outside elbow knee to outside elbow option is to do it on your knees so i'm really driving my knee up trying to get up towards my elbow that's really pinching into my obliques. Oh. Oh. Good news, when we finish this, there's only nine minutes left. That's something to celebrate. Right, 10 seconds. The next move we're going to make is some pause movements. So I'll show you what I mean. Flip over. So we're going to stagger the sit up. Sit up halfway, hold. Sit up, pull. Sit down and hold. And lie down fully. So half hold, full hold. Half hold, and lie down. Now that pause is creating a bigger demand on the abdominals, because they're trying to fight it to stabilize you. Keeping you in place. Oh, in positions you really don't want to stay too long. Hold, come on, 30 seconds. Good tune. It's almost as if we're on it. Oh. Half and hold, top and hold. Half and hold. Lie there, do it again. Oh my God. 10 more seconds. And then guess what? We've got plan of work. Oh, oh. Come on, you got it. Right. High plank, flip. This time take the feet wide. Easy lift. Easy lift. Now if you didn't feel like a cat in one of the movements, this is more cat like, isn't it? If they found like a really soft, comfortable bed. And then just holding it. Again, every little movement is causing everything to fire. You're probably feeling your glutes firing as well. As soon as you get a little bit of weight change, everything is working to try and keep you upright, try and keep you stable. 20 seconds, I'm desperate for it to be over as well. Come on. We've got some leg work next. Still correlated, so don't panic. Oh, 10 seconds. Three, two, lie down, leg raises. So you lie there, shoulders there, easy. So lift and lower. When you lower, try not to let them touch down. Keeping the tension, legs, and my butt staying on the floor. Oh, you know what you think is a good idea? In yeah, actual impracticality. You wish your hand had suggested it. Right here, right now. That's exactly what I'm feeling. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds and we're just gonna hold high fang. We can use that as an active recovery. <laughs> Or you can use it as a recovery. 10 seconds. Come 
Come on, come on, come on. Stay with me. Three, two, play plank. Hands on the shoulders. You get in side position. So as you get tight, you'll probably find that you're a million miles away. You want to be right over the top of your hands. Everything nicely aligned. Remember, you take the recoveries when you need to. You need to drop to your knees or your elbows or both. Or you just need to drop out and take a second. Do it. You've been really awesome with what you've done so far. And just remember, if when you repeat this workout again, just try and do maybe one more round extra. It's all about trying to go that little bit further each attempt you do it. Just so you've got something to measure against, and that's an achievement. For 10 seconds, and then we're back on that back again. What are we going to do? Twist next. I hate Russian twists. Take a sit down. Either feet up or feet down. But what you do, goal is, is to twist your torso. So you're taking your hands to outside hips and twist. Oh my life. Remember your options there. Feet up, feet down, whatever you need to do. 20 down. 40 to go. Now, good news. Four minutes. 30 seconds, that's all that you need to hold on for. So, come on, stay with me. Think about what it is you want to write at the end of this workout. <laughs> Remember, it's going to be visible to everybody. So use, use friendly words or imaginative words. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. Low plank. Low plank hold. Hold it up. Breathe. Keep it simple towards the end. Now everything might be twitching. Oh, oh, oh. You've got to look at core workout okay? in a very stiff kind of way. And remember, you don't have to train 30 minutes solid. You may want to do 10 minutes today, press pause, the next 10 minutes tomorrow or the day after. It's just like any other muscle group, you don't want to over train it. So it's not about training every single day. You may want to train it every other day. Maybe you don't want to train it once or twice a week. 15 seconds. When we move on to our backs, Simple sit-ups, just simple sit-ups. But with this one, we're going to put the soles of our feet together. So we're going to open up our hip flexors. Ready? So, lie down, soles of your feet together. Reach overhead, and then reach down towards the toes. So reach overhead, and then reach down towards the toes. 45 seconds, and then just two minutes remain. Now, how many of you know what my favourite move is? I've said it about a million times already. <laughs> but if you haven't been following, thank you. So guess what we're going to do in our last two minutes? This is where everybody switches off, isn't it? Don't switch off. Come on, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you've got two minutes of plank. And it's an ideal position that if you've got your phone in front of you, you can start writing things down. <laughs> Use emojis of like hieroglyphics. Ready? High plank or low plank or whatever plank you like, but not the plank where you're lying down on your front having to sleep. That is not the plank that we're aiming for. Two minutes to finish. How amazing have you done, guys? I'm going to try and do the maths pretty quick in my head. Good. By the end of this, you'll have done 16 minutes of plank work. And you'll have done 14 minutes of crunches or sit-up related work. That is a massive achievement. And you need to be really proud of what you've done. A minute and a half to go. That's probably the wrong time to tell you that we've still got like, what, 75% left? Sorry, guys. What's up? Come on. Ooh, we've got a minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> On a 
scale of one to ten, how much do you hate me? Ten being a lot, one being, oh, you're mildly okay. Come on, you've got 55 seconds. And if you don't think that you're ever going to sweat doing core, how wrong would you be? I'm sweating. 40 seconds, and I'm shaking. Thirty seconds. Come on, you've hung in there for as long as well, twenty-nine and a half minutes to be honest. So, what's thirty seconds? Oh. Come on, chin up and face it head on. I'm with you. Fifteen seconds. Here's the countdown. Don't fail on me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, recover. Guys, massive respect to each and every one of you as I crawl towards the camera for absolutely smashing that 30 minutes of core. It wasn't easy. So whatever you managed to do today, be very, very proud of yourselves because you deserve that pat on the back. I've been Heather. Hopefully you'll chew in, chew, chew in, tune in again for any of our instructor team and their awesome workouts. Stay safe guys, look after yourselves and uh, well done you lot.